Welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of On Finding Peace. I'm Chris Shea, your host, and this is the podcast where we talk about practical, everyday things that we can do, which can help us find that inner peace. We focus on this podcast on topics that surround mindfulness and meditation, talk a bit about psychotherapy, and any other aspects of our lives which can help us to find within ourselves what we need so that we can live in a very mindful and peaceful way. And today's topic, I came about as... uh, The seasons where I am have recently changed. Uh, By the time this episode airs, uh, we will have been a week or so into spring, and the seasons just continue to move on. And I thought that this would be a good time to talk about seasons and mindfulness, and how do these seasons reflect our own lives? So I really think in this episode, I'd like to reflect mindfully on these change of seasons and look at them as an allegory for the changes in our own lives. For I think we would agree that nothing in nature, including ourselves, is immune from change. Change happens all around us almost every moment of the day. I'm not saying we like change. Most of us most of the time, uh, try to avoid change at all costs. But change is going to happen whether I avoid it or not. One of the aspects I've come to understand that makes change so difficult for most of us, and I'll include myself in this as well, is that change typically means going from something that I know to something that I don't know. And in most cases, we don't like the unknown. For most of us, and again, myself included, we like to have the sense of control. The sense that we have control over our lives and that we can take the necessary steps to ensure what goes on in our life that we can take all the steps needed to ensure our safety, our success. But when we really look into it, we don't have much control over our lives at all. We know that things are going to happen outside of our control almost daily. But we still tell ourselves that we are in control. And we try our best to continue to be in control. So when it comes to change, most of us will avoid that change. Through the years in my working in uh, the corrections field and in the counseling and coaching field, I have tried to help guide people through life changes where they were avoiding to the change, even though they knew that staying in their situation wasn't good for them. So as I reflected on this change of seasons, uh, you know, reflected on the fact that it is now springtime, and we've gotten through another winter, although quite mild uh, here in Maryland, that I came to realize that Each of these seasons, the characteristics that they have, are really reflective of the seasons of our own lives. What I'm not talking about are um, allegories and connections with saying things such as springtime is like the birth of a baby and 
Uh, you know, the summertime is our youth and the winter is our elder years. If that works for you, great. But that's not what I'm talking about. I do believe and have come to understand that throughout our life, we encounter these various seasons that throughout each year we encounter seasons that resemble the spring and the autumn and the fall and the summer and winter that if we look at the cycle of our own lives they can either be in tune with the cycle of the nature around us or they are just in tune with our own cycles And that if we really examine our lives, we can come to find that our lives do go in these cycles. You know, that there are times in our life that may resemble more of the winter moments. And we may not be anywhere near our elder years. And yet there are times that we may say our summer moments and We might be thinking of those moments in our elder and even retirement years. So I think it's important for us to mindfully examine what it is that our life is representing as far as the seasons are concerned. When I talk about mindfully reviewing the seasons, what I talk about when I say mindfully is that we need to slow ourselves down enough to be aware of and conscious of what is happening with me right now in this present moment. What am I feeling? What am I experiencing? What is happening around me right now? And one of the key aspects to doing this mindfully is that I do it non-judgmentally. In other words... What I want to do is just acknowledge what it is that I'm feeling, what it is that I'm experiencing and witnessing without putting a value judgment on it, without automatically saying this is a pleasant experience, a good experience, a bad experience, a negative experience. Because once I do that, I've already infused myself into what this experience is. In mindfulness, what we want to talk about is looking at what is this experience just as it is. There is time later for evaluation, so to speak, or or putting a value judgment on an event. But it's more important to live the moment as it comes before putting on those judgments. Once we put a judgment on the moment, we've already determined what this moment is to be. And in essence, we've lost the moment. The moment is not only come and gone in time, but the moment is come and gone within our own experience because we've placed a judgment on it. So when we look at our lives in the sense of the seasons, I think what's important for us to do is to examine what are the seasons and what do they mean to me? When was the last time we actually sat down through each change of a season to notice that change? Personally, I didn't do it often until in the last few years when I moved more so out into the country and uh, moved to living on the water that I began to get a bit more in tune with nature and the cycle of nature. But prior to that, my living in the suburbs, working in the cities, I never really thought about the change of nature. I never really examined what was happening. And it's unfortunate because for a good chunk of my life, I missed out on what those changes are and how they would have been interpreted by me in my particular seasons of life. For example, one thing that I have just realized and has been a big Uh, realization for me, 
And feel free to laugh at me if you wish, if, if this is common knowledge that uh, I just had missed. But of course, I knew that the sun rises in the east and the sun sets in the west. We're taught that. I know that. And when I'd be sitting at home or at work and you see the sun go down, all right, that's the west. What I didn't realize is that the sun does not set in the due west or rise in the due east every day of the year. That came as a surprise to me. How did I learn this? Actually, by observing. What I began to notice is when I would sit outside to watch the sunset over the water, what I started to notice as the year went on is the sun, sure, would set in the west, but the sun had an angle as to where it set in the west. And it would either set further to the left of my viewpoint or further to the right of my viewpoint, depending on the season. And I started to recognize that even without having a calendar or knowledge of the season, where I could see that sun setting, whether it was more to the right or to the left of due west, would tell me what season we were in or what season we were heading toward. That was a revelation for me. I didn't know that was a thing. And now that I recognize that as a thing, I started saying to myself, what else am I missing? What else is happening seasonally that I just would always look at a calendar to know is happening seasonally? And what I've noticed where I'm living is as the seasons change, certain things happen at particular times in these seasons that don't happen at other times. So for now, with the spring coming up, what I notice are the obvious. You have the leaves unfolding, you have flowers blooming, uh, you have the buds on the trees blooming. All of that for sure is happening. But there's certain smells that I've noticed that are happening as things are popping up from the ground. The sun, I notice now, sets a bit more to the right and will continue to be setting more so to the right of due west as summer progresses. What I'll notice during the summer months is not just the heat, which honestly I am not a fan of, but I notice it and I mindfully acknowledge the heat and then I'll put my value judgment on it that I don't like the heat. But I will feel the heat first, and I will take in the heat. But we notice near the end of summer that not only do you have uh, what are commonly referred to as the June bugs or lightning bugs will show up, we have in my area these very large flies that all of a sudden come out of nowhere, and they just kind of hover in the air and then dart away and then... All of a sudden, they're like in your face again, just hovering in front of you and then dart away. But they only come at the end of the summer. And I'll notice that these flies start to come, and then I watch my sunset, and I notice that sunset has been drifting to the left of due west, the signal for me that autumn is arriving. So as we notice these changes, it's not just for me, where is the sun, but also noticing what creatures are around me, what smells are around me, what is opening up, what is dying off. So I think as we can mindfully reflect and notice the nature around us, and I would encourage everyone to notice the nature around you and the subtleties of the changes, but start noticing that within your own life. So start noticing to yourself, what is within you, this compass to let you know when it's kind of the setting sun, when, when we kind of let, start to let things go? Can you notice that within yourself? Can we notice within ourselves, within the changes of the seasons, 
times when maybe we would say these are the winter months within me because not much seems to be happening and I seem to be down and gloomy and, you know, things just don't seem right. What we might want to look within ourselves in these times where it's down and gloomy, what is happening beneath that surface? Because we do know that within the winter months, there is beauty amongst what people call the dreariness of the times. But what's really happening within these winter months is priming nature for its renewal in the spring. How do we dig deep within ourselves to notice during these winter times of ourselves when we start to say things are just gloomy and dark? What's happening beneath that darkness? Am I priming myself for the blossoming of something new? Is this a time that maybe I do need to step back from some things and start making plans for what's coming up in my springtime? And when I notice within myself when things start to blossom, and maybe there's these periods in my life when I start to say, hey, things are going you know, great. I got all these new ideas and you know, for myself, I might have all these great uh, blog post ideas and I start writing things and podcast, you know, uh, ideas and I'm just like going one thing after another. But do I actually stop to notice what I'm doing? You know, spring can be this time when we get all excited and we start running outside and, and enjoying things and turning off the heat and opening up the windows and, and enjoying it. But then all of a sudden, don't we get hit with that surprise frost or that surprise cold? We think, you know, I think within spring, even in the springtime of our lives, as we get excited about maybe these new ventures we're doing, and, and rightly so, do we stop enough to note, well, what is coming ahead that maybe I need to be ready for? I find it important within our own lives just to spend time, and and I do suggest every day, maybe 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, a way to start the day, a way to end the day, in some sort of reflection. Whether you go out in nature or sit where you are, but spend some time in quiet reflection where you start your day and or end your day of thinking about what am I feeling, what's happening in me, asking yourself, what season am I in today? And what does that mean for you? What do you notice about your changing seasons? And in the bigger picture, I, I, you know, would really suggest look around you at the nature around you and how does that change? You might even live in the heart of a city and say, well, how do I see the nature? Well, there's a lot of nature if we really look deeply in the city. You will see flowers coming up. You can notice the differences in the types of, say, birds or lack thereof. Take a look at that sun setting. Notice when that sun sets over some of the buildings, does it set over the same part of that building every single day of the year. And you'll start to see that even within the city life, there's a a ebb and flow within the seasons, within the, the natural world and within our urban setting. So take some moments every day and take some deep breaths and maybe ask yourself these questions. Dig a little bit deeper but find where that beauty can lie within the seasons of our lives, within the seasons of our day, and be present to those, acknowledge those, witness those, feel those moments without judgment. Just acknowledge their presence and then acknowledge how do they affect my life? How does this change my life? And then we can put on, uh, you know, those acknowledgements. Then we can start to say, is this a positive effect in my life? And if so, how do I continue it? If this is not a positive effect in my life, then what do I do within that part of my life that I can say I need to make a little bit of change? 
I encourage you to make those uh, observations. I would encourage you to share with all of us some of your observations and you know anything that maybe struck you within my reflections on the seasons and how that puts the seasons of our lives. You can feel free to share on any of my social media, which you can find links to all my social media on my website, lifesjourneyblog.com, or on this podcast client, whatever it is that you're listening to this podcast through. Leave a uh, you know note about uh, you know your seasons of life. And leave with us how you learn about these seasons so that we can learn from you. One of the things that I think is wonderful about podcasting is we can become a podcast community. And within this podcast community, we can share amongst each other and learn from each other. I've never said that I have all knowledge or all wisdom. Far from it. I share what I know and what I've learned. I want to learn from all of you. So go to my website, check out my social media, share with us, share on your podcast client. And one thing I also want to uh, let all of you know is that I have a new website coming out soon, hopefully in the next couple weeks, and I'm going to be looking for feedback on that. If you haven't yet signed up for my bi-monthly newsletter, uh, feel free to do that and you can find all that information on my website. I also have a survey going right now uh, on my newsletter, uh, which is looking for all of your suggestions as to how I can tailor that newsletter to your needs and make this the newsletter which best fits what you are looking for uh, in a newsletter, which uh, hopefully helps you to find your own inner peace. If you enjoy this podcast, I do ask you to share it with your friends. Uh, like us on all of your podcast clients, and uh, sharing is caring. Um, Let people know about the podcast. I thank you for listening, and I hope all of you have a very mindful day. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.